Hi everyone, this is Alexander Antsipov, and in this video we will know how to add condition logic into the application. Let's consider a simple example. We are developing an application for people older than 16 years old. On the first screen, users will provide their age and depends on their answer, they will be navigated on the corresponding screen. Create new Ionic 5 application. Our application will consist of three screens. On the first screen, user will provide his age. Then he will click on the button. And if his age corresponds to application requirements, he will be navigated on one screen and on another screen otherwise. Let's create these two screens. This screen will see user his age less than application requirements. And this screen for allowed user. Now we need to add logic for our screen one. Of course, we can implement it using TypeScript but uh, here I want to show how to do the same using no code approach. For that we need add if else plugin. Plugin has one service which accepts three parameters, two variable and operation, which can be equal, not equal, less, more, less or equal, more or equal. Service can be added as data source. And then we need to specify mapping. Pass value of input component as variable A. Select operation less and can provide the value of variable B as 16. And now we have to provide uh, actions for success and error callback. Success will be invoked when condition is true an error when condition is false. If h is less than 16, user will be navigated on source screen and navigate to play screen otherwise. Last step, we have to specify that this service should be invoked after clicking on the button. That is all and application is ready for testing. Okay, let's provide 15 as user age and we navigate it on source screen. And now let's test how application works when provide age as 16. As you see, we were navigated on play screen. In the same way, you will be able to add a condition for another situations. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching.